Welcome, I'm Beck from Beck's Beehive Beekeeping and today I'm going to show you how to do a sugar shake surveillance test for Varroa mite. I thought it was appropriate given the recent findings of a swarm on a ship at the Port of Melbourne that came in from Texas um, and the security surveillance is underway at the moment. Um, the Victoria Agriculture are doing a mighty fine job. I'm in the squirt team which is the state quarantine response and we've been trained to act if there is an incursion. So at the moment there's no incursion, we're just doing general surveillance tests and I'm also in the Sugar Shake program which consists of I think 360 commercial and recreational beekeepers in Victoria um, and we've been asked, uh, everyone within a 50 kilometre radius of the Port of Melbourne have been asked to undertake a Sugar Shake test on their own personal apiary hive. So this is what I'm going to show you today. It's a bit chilly like today. So what I've got here is two sheets, a double sheet of newspaper, a sugar shake shaker, which is a container with a grilled top. Now inside there I have approximately just over a tablespoon of icing sugar. In the, in the sugar, icing sugar. I waited for two minutes and I've been turning them ever since. So we need to do this, they need to be in this jar for at least six minutes. So we're coming to the end of our two minute period, the second lot. So they're getting coated inside. Can you zoom in? sheltered position without the wind because um, that can impact on the amount of bees that get inside and also the wind can blow the ice and sugar away. So now I have my bucket of water. Okay so we've got all the bees inside that are coated with the icing sugar so now what we're going to do we've got a bucket of water, clean water and we're just going to vigorously, oh we've got one bee in there, shake, shake, shake. So what would happen if there is any varroa mite on the bees here, can you see inside, there would be floating debris. Now the floating debris in there is just dirt, <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, but I'm going to keep going. Let's have a look. Okay, so I'm finished shaking out all the icing sugar, the bees are certainly coated with the icing sugar, and now I'm going to empty out the can the container here in front of the hives. This does not hurt the bees um, and in fact they're going to have a little party inside when they get inside. You watch. Lovely little white bees that will share all the sugar with the rest of the team. So, everyone thanks for watching i hope you got something out of the tips here and um, keep watching beck's beehive beekeeping for more beekeeping tips take care bye